The opinions expressed are those of the show's host and not the staff or management of Port St. Lucie Broadcasters. Any reproduction without written consent of WSTU and WPSL is strictly prohibited. Now it's time for Quality of Life Radio, brought to you by Cigna and Aetna Medicare. Here are your hosts, Gary Owen and Tom Bouvier. Hello and good Tuesday morning, everybody. Hopefully you're enjoying this extraordinary Tuesday morning. My name is Gary Owen. I'm the president of Owen Insurance Group here on the Treasure Coast for 38 years. And you're listening to the world-famous Quality of Life radio show. Thank you so much for tuning in. So, my co-host, Tom the Boo Bouvier, is out again two weeks in a row. So, Tom, hopefully you're feeling better, my friend. And I am running solo on the show today. Lucky you. So, uh, we are bringing to you this half-hour show every single Tuesday morning because it is our mission to help improve your quality of life and your quality of health. We bring you relevant information and content, unbiased information, and education so you can make the right choices. It's Medicare straight talk or insurance straight talk. And this is the no plop zone or no BS zone because we are going to deliver to you straight in the way you want to hear it and the way you should hear it and understand it. So, uh, again, as I said, it's our mission to improve your quality of life because you should enjoy the stress-free life you deserve. And to do that, you've got to make sure that you work with the right agency, have the right company, and the right plan so you don't fall into a pitfall. So last week's show, we covered two out of the 10, top 10 critical and costly Medicare mistakes to avoid. So we're going to pick up on topic number three. Before we do Topic number three, or or, or number three of the top 10, we always do our quote of the day. So today, the quote of the day is profound. In fact, I think all of our quotes of the day are profound. Not like me. No amount of regret changes the past. No amount of anxiety changes the future. But any amount of gratitude changes the present. It's amazing that so many people sit and worry and ponder about the past and have regrets. Regrets never change anything. No amount of anxiety changes the future. Keep that in mind. Live in the past? Is it going to get you to the future where you need to be? So, all right. Number three, topic is, again, the top 10 critical and costly Medicare mistakes to avoid. For those of you who are watching on Facebook Live, obviously you can see our telephone number behind me and on the screen. For those of you that are tuning in on WSTU 1450 and WPSL 1590, our phone number for you to remember is 77. It's very easy. Even a caveman can do it. 772-210-1450. 772-210-1020. 210 Very simple phone number to remember. Let us be your resource. Let us do the heavy lifting for you. All right. I've got to get through the top 10 on this two-part series. Number three. Oh, and by the way, last week we finished with number two, which was not knowing how much to pay for original Medicare. So we talked about Part B. We ran out of time. I didn't have a chance to go through the IRMA chart. But if you're married and you have a household income of $194,000 or less two years ago, back in 2021, then you'll, uh, you will have to pay the one sixty four ninety. If you're above that income, it depends. There's four additional levels or five, addi- five additional tier levels uh, you could pay anywhere from two hundred and thirty dollars and eighty cents up to uh, five uh, six hundred and sixty five hundred sixty dollars and sixty cents in addition to having a surcharge on your Part D drug premium as well. If you want a copy of that Irma chart, in Irma meaning the income related monthly adjustment amount, if you want a copy of that chart, give us a call seven seven two two ten ten twenty, 
and one of our staff members will be happy to email that to you. All right, number three of the top 10 critical and costly Medicare mistakes to avoid. Number three is choosing to only enroll in original Medicare without a supplement or Part C. We touched on that a little bit last week as well. So again, you don't want to just stay on original Medicare Parts A and B. You need to have a supplement plan to cover those gaps in original Medicare. Those are major gaps, major out-of-pocket expenses that you're going to have if you don't have a supplement plan or a Medicare Advantage plan. So uh, I'm not going to spend the time on uh, explaining Medicare A and B. We did that la on last week's show. But again, Medicare Part A is for hospital. For those of you that, uh, that missed our last week's show, Medicare Part A is for the hospital. Part B is for doctors, outpatient procedures, uh, durable medical equipment, and so forth. So that is number three, choosing to only enroll in original Medicare. And by the way, roughly 10 to 12 percent of Americans uh, in the country today are only on original Medicare, which is not good because you're going to have major out-of-pocket expenses. All right, number four is deciding to not enroll in a prescription drug plan, a Part D. So there's four parts of Medicare. We should already know this. Medicare Part A hospital, Part B medical operation procedures, doctor. Part D is prescription drugs, D for drugs, and C is Medicare Advantage. Now, there are some people that come to us and say, Gary, I'm healthy, I don't take any drugs, I don't want to spend any money on a drug plan. And then I have to ask, I would love to see your crystal ball because I have never seen a crystal ball in my life. I would love to see a crystal ball. What are you talking about? Well, you must know the specific day, the time, and the year that you are going to have a critical or chronic illness where you're going to start taking prescription drugs. It's not a good decision, my friends. Number one, what happens if you don't take a drug plan and now you do have a chronic illness where you need a tier three or four specialty drug? your SOL, and you will also start accruing a late enrollment penalty to the tune of 1% of the national Part B premium every single month. So not good to do. And also, let me remind you that the Medicare AEP season, the annual enrollment period is coming up October 15th through December 7th. If you're on a Medicare supplement plan, you don't need to do anything. Just keep paying the premium. If you're happy with your Medicare supplement plan, don't mess with it. Don't let anybody else tell you differently. If you got questions, give us a call. But you have a standalone Part D drug plan. Major changes, major changes are happening in 2024 and 2025 and moving forward on prescription drug plans due to the Inflation Reduction Act. We have already received notifications from multiple carriers that their premiums are going up 40% to 100% on most drug plans out there today. There's one carrier that's actually doing the reverse. They're actually going down in premium. So again, if you have a standalone drug plan, give us a call. We'll be happy to review it for you at no cost. 772-210-1020. I always say it's important to get your drug plan right. The drug, the drug formularies change every year. The premiums change every year. Get it right, man. Don't put your head in the sand. Don't ignore it. It's going to cause your problem and grief down the road. So, again, give us a call. Let us do the heavy lifting for you. Let us be your resource, and let us be your go-to agency. I've been here on the Treasure Coast for over 38 years. We are going nowhere. Rely on your local insurance agency. Number five of the top 10, not knowing the difference between IEP, AEP, OEP, SEP, LEP, MAPD, PDP, OMG, too many acronyms in this industry. So that's why it's important that you select and choose the right insurance agency and the agent to represent you to be your guide. They know what the heck they're doing. Don't take the road alone. There's no need to do it alone. And we do not charge for our services because the carriers pay us. 99% of the time. Yes, there are a few drug 
companies out there that don't pay commissions, but that's okay. We are still going to help our clients and be a resource for our clients no matter what. So IEP, of course, is if you're turning 65, this is your seven-month period, three months before, the month of, and three months after of turning 65 that you should enroll in Medicare. If you're on a group plan of 20 or more employees, you may not have to enroll in Medicare. We always like to do a cost-benefit analysis to determine whether or not you should stay in your group plan or uh, go on Medicare and pick up a supplement or an Advantage plan. We'll talk about that here soon. AEP. AEP is the annual enrollment period from October 15th through December 7th. That is when you can change your Medicare Advantage plan to another Medicare Advantage plan. Change your Medicare Advantage plan and go back to original Medicare and sign up for a supplement plan and or change your Part D drug plan. Okay? That's the AEP. October 15th through December 7th. You should have a review done. Give us a call at no cost to do a no cost review, 772-210-1020. If you're on the most appropriate plan, we're going to tell you, stay on that plan. No need to change. And no need to call those TV celebrity pitchmen on those annoying TV commercials because I'm going to tell you, Joe doesn't know, and JJ is not the way. Go to your local insurance professional to be your professional guide and your unbiased guide. When you change plans during the AEP, the annual election period, your new plan takes effect on January 1. Then you have the OEP, or the open enrollment period. The open enrollment period is a new period, recently new, a few years now, that is January through March. So if you're on a Medicare Advantage plan and you forgot to do or you didn't have time to do a review or you're on a Medicare Advantage plan that you selected during the AEP, you don't like it, you can change your Medicare Advantage plan to another Medicare Advantage plan during the OEP, the open enrollment period. And then the SEP is the special enrollment period where if, uh, obviously, if you move to a different address, if you're on a Medicare Advantage plan or a drug plan, you, you have the opportunity to switch to another uh, MAPD or a Medicare Advantage plan or another drug plan. Uh, if you're no longer eligible, eligible for Medicaid, that is another SEP or Special Enrollment Period. Or if your Medicare plan was terminated, that's an SEP. Uh, or if you are newly eligible for Medicare and Medicaid both, that's an SEP. We qualify for extra help like low income subsidy, that's another SEP. Uh, where you dropped a Medigap policy the first time joining a Medicare Advantage plan. Or if you go on a Medicare Advantage plan for the first 12 months and go back to original Medicare, that's another SEP. We have the answers. Don't take the road alone. Give us a call at 772 210 10, 20. Number six of the top 10. Not sure if you should stay on your group plan. If you're Listen, more and more people are working longer. More and more people are coming to our office and, Gary, I don't know what to do. Should I stay on my group plan? Should we go on Medicare? What should I do? Well, it depends. All you have to do is give us a call. Stop by. We're located right behind Key West Diner, about a mile south of the Jensen Beach Mall, right off US-1. And let us do a review for you. Let us do a cost-benefit analysis. You know, sometimes it may be better to stay on the group plan. You know, and the group, the employer cannot kick you off your plan if you're 65. So you can stay on that group plan if that's a benefit. We're finding that most people, a lot of people, 70% probably, 60 to 70% of our clients that come to us, we advise to stay on the group plan because they have a younger spouse and the premiums are, are affordable, the deductibles are very low, so it, it, it makes sense for them to stay on the group plan. But again, every person, every plan, every scenario is going to be different. Give us a call at 772-210-1020 and we'll be happy to do and sit down with you and do a cost-benefit analysis. 
And you know, and you got to take into consideration what you're paying for that group plan versus what you'd pay for a Medicare. What is your not only your premiums, but what is your deductible? What is your MOOP, your maximum out of pocket? What are your co-pays? All these are important to take into consideration. What about the network? Are you happy with a plan? If you're not happy, you might want to consider changing and going to Medicare. So, you can, and, and people say, well, Gary, if I don't take Medicare, if I stay on my group plan, I'm going to be susceptible to a late enrollment penalty. I don't want to do that. Well, not necessarily. Depends on the group size. Typically, 20 or more employees or that group is a large group. You do not have to enroll, usually do not have to enroll in Medicare. You can stay on your group plan if that's better suited for you. All right, number seven, not knowing how to choose the most suitable or cost-effective Medicare plan. I would say when you're turning 65 or you're going on Medicare for the first time, this is one of the most important decisions that you're going to make in your lifetime. Just as important as buying a car, buying a home. We, we go through great lengths when we buy a car or buy a home and, and do so much research. But we spend very minuscule amount of time finding the right agency or the right Medicare plan that's going to be best suited for you for the rest of your life. Very important to choose the right plan. Not only choosing the right plan, choosing the right carrier and choosing the right insurance agent with the right insurance agency. Very, very important. Do not rely on the TV commercials. I, I don't think I need to say that because I think most of you are savvy enough and smart enough to not fall in that trap of calling a large call center, this 800 number, that's going to take you to a call center where you have no idea where they're at and you will never be able to reach that one agent that you're speaking to again. Build a relationship with a local agency that's going to be there for you when you need them the most, that has the competency and the professionalism and who's local that you can t go by and touch if you need to and see and speak to face-to-face. -face. Don't choose a plan based on the lowest premium. Don't choose a plan because if it's a zero premium, it's a Medicare Advantage plan, and you like the extra benefits because you may never be able to go back to original Medicare to enroll, to enroll in a supplement plan. Yes, you can go back to original Medicare, but now after your trial right period is ended on a Medicare Advantage plan, which is before you turn 66, you can switch to a supplement plan during that trial right period. But after that, without no questions. Now after that, now after you turn 66, and if you want to go on a supplement plan, you now have to answer, typically answer no to all of the health underwriting questions and qualify. If you have a chronic or critical illness and major pre-existing conditions, you may never be able to go on a supplement plan. Again, I always say the decisions you make today can last a lifetime. It's important to get it right the first time. And there are so many, so many plans, so many companies, you can't do it alone. It's too overwhelming. It's cumbersome. Rely on the professionals at Owen Insurance Group. Again, 772-210-1020. Number eight, not taking advantage of the Medicare annual enrollment period or the open enrollment period. Listen, it costs you nothing, nothing to enroll, uh, to have a review done of your existing Medicare plan during the annual enrollment period. If you don't like the plan that you're on, you definitely need to give us a call. If you love the plan that you're currently on, you should definitely give us a call. Plans change. Medicare Advantage plans change. You get an ANOC, an annual notice of change every single year. My parents just got one. I was over their house yesterday and they received an ANOC for their plan with a premium increase and out-of-pocket expenses are higher. Formularies change every year. You need to have an annual review done every year. You should have a review done. It doesn't cost you anything. We're here as a resource. Rely on, on the professionals at Owen Insurance Group to be your unbiased guide.
772-210-1020. And again, uh, we already talked about what you can do during the AEP, the annual election period from October 15th through December 7th, and the OEP. So we're here as a resource. We're here as a guide. You do not have to take the road alone. That's number eight. Number nine, misunderstanding the difference between a Medicare Advantage plan versus a Medicare Supplement plan. Again, last week's show, I said, I'd love to have a penny for every person who came to us and thought they were on a Medicare Supplement plan. Then we ask them, what are you paying for your premium? And they tell us, zero. We know they are not on a Medicare supplement plan. They're on a Medicare Advantage plan. If you today do not know the difference between a Medicare Advantage plan and a Medicare supplement plan, you need to pick up the phone and give us a call at 772-210-1020. Have a little bit of education so you can make the right choice and the right decisions for your health care. It is absolutely vital that you make the right decision. And do not make a decision on what your friend and your neighbor has next door or what your spouse may have. Again, there's not a one-size-fits-all solution. If you wear a size uh, 8 shoe, you're not going to fit, or I'm not going to fit into my size 10, right? My size 10 is going to fit into your size 8. So... There's not a one-size-fits-all solution. And, and when it comes to Medicare supplement plans, Medicare supplement plans, unlike Medicare Advantage, Medicare supplement does not have networks. Medicare Advantage plans have networks. People think have this misconception that if they enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan at zero premium, that there's no cost. That's not true. You still have out-of-pocket expenses, whether it's a deductible, copay, coinsurance, and maximum out-of-pockets that could go up to $10,000 a year. These TV commercials don't tell you that stuff. They don't tell you what you need to know. Here at Own Insurance Group, we're going to tell you everything you need to know so you can make, them, make an informed decision what's best for your health care. And Medicare Advantage plan, just remember, when you choose a Medicare Advantage plan, you're basically opting out of original Medicare, put your Medicare A and B card away, put it aside, and now you're working with that ID card with that insurance carrier. So just keep that in mind. It is not the same as, Medicare Advantage is not the same as Medicare Supplement. And so if you're not schooled and well-versed on the difference between the two, you need to give us a call. You need to sit down with one of our agents. And we have over 500 agents throughout the state of Florida and many other states that can help be your guide. Do not do it alone. We do not charge for our services, so you have nothing to lose. So, and if you go on a Medicare supplement plan, there are basically nine different Medicare supplement plans that you choose from. There are only three that we recommend to our clients, and 99% of our clients are either on a G plan, N plan, or the high deductible G plan. Of course, you cannot uh, have plan C or F anymore because those plans are no longer available to new clients that are aging in a Medicare. And then finally, number 10 of the top 10 critical and costly Medicare mistakes to avoid is not choosing the right Medicare insurance agent or agency to be your personal guide. Equally important as choosing a Medicare plan, the Medicare carrier is choosing a Medicare agent or an insurance agent that specializes in Medicare insurance planning. Don't be, if you decide to not use Owen Insurance Group, you are not going to break my heart and you're not going to see me flow, uh, have tears flowing down my cheeks. But you may have tears flowing down your cheeks because you didn't choose us. And if you don't choose us, whoever you choose, make sure that you ask a lot of questions how long they've been in the industry, how many clients they have. How, how, are they specialized? Do they represent other insurance carriers? Are they independent? Are they uh, career agents? Very, very important questions that you should ask. Are they part of NAOSA? Are they part of NAHU? Are they a member of the Better Business Bureau? Make sure that you do your research, do your due diligence on that agency or on that agent. It's important that you know 
that the person that you're about to do business with is an unbiased guide and who, and who is competent in knowing what they're doing. Again, it's important that you work with an independent insurance agency. An independent agent represents multiple, most of the carriers. A captive or career agent only represents typically that one carrier. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to limit your options. There are too many opportunities and too many options, and you don't want to get it wrong. So again, if you have questions, Owen Insurance Group is here to be your guide, to be a resource. We have numerous agents to help and to be there and to be by your side. We thank you for your opportunity. Thank you for your attention this morning. We are so happy that you, enjoy, uh, that you joined us on the show. And coming up next, so stay tuned, is the Brian Kilmeade Show. We hope that you enjoyed the show. Please share us with your friends, your family, your neighbors. And remember, stay safe, keep healthy, be happy, and enjoy your quality of life.